TikTok VPN. The best VPN to use for TikTok, I'm going to cover TunnelBear. This is videos about a TikTok VPN that you can use. In this video, I will be covering TunnelBear VPN, which was a Canadian company. It's now owned by McAfee. In a previous video, I went over IPVanish. I have both of them installed on my Android phone. They are both available for iPhones as well. So TikTok, as you know, mobile app, uh, getting banned in a few countries right now. In India, it's not for use in China, and the U.S. has executive order to possibly ban TikTok starting in September. So how can you use a VPN to get around that? I have a post about it on my website, AskCybersecurity.com, and covers TunnelBear, IP Vanish, and NordVPN. And this video is about TunnelBear, and that is a link that you can go right to and download TunnelBear if you don't already have it. So here's the mobile app. You can see that if I come in, that I'm automatically connected to, going to be connected to a US server. You can see that at the bottom. And if TikTok's banned in the US, I'm going to need to fake my location like I'm coming from somewhere else. I'm gonna pick Canada. So I have to, and that's what VPNs do. They rewrite your internet traffic to make it look like it's coming from elsewhere. So if TikTok is banned I in the US, then I need to route my phone's traffic to somewhere else. In this case, it'll be Canada. Now, TunnelBear is super cute, easy to use VPN. I have lots of countries to choose from. It doesn't have as many servers as other services do, but if you're a lightweight user, not necessarily a business traveler, um, you're using it to watch TikTok at school or at work, then this is the app for you. Really easy to use. All I have to do is either select a country from that list at the bottom or tap one of the tunnels and the bear is going to go there. So you see my bear went to a US server and it's not going to work for me if TikTok's banned in the US. So I'm going to have to disconnect from tunnel bear and you connect and disconnect by that little slider button at the top right of the logo. So I need to change countries. So I'm going to pick Canada because it's closest to me. I want to get out of the US, but still pick a country close by so I don't slow down my traffic, so I disconnect. And then I am going to choose Canada and then reconnect to Tunnel Bear. So it's easy peasy and my cute, adorable little bear now tunnels his way to a Canadian server and my phone no longer appears like it is accessing Wi-Fi or internet traffic or my data connection from the US. So here are some options for TunnelBear. Uh, I have an older account, so I get 1500 meg free a month. Uh, you can do a few other things here to get some more data. Currently, if you sign up for a free account, you get about 500 meg free, which if you're watching all streaming, uh, it, you'll probably go over those data limits. And that's the downside to free accounts is you go over data limits pretty quickly if you're watching like TikTok, Netflix, Hulu and all that. So you might want to get a paid subscription. They're really cheap. Tunnel Bear is pretty inexpensive, just under $5 a month depending on how long you paid. So let's test our VPN. We connected through a Canadian server. Let's open up TikTok and go check out a couple of videos. You can look at my account. I just have a few up there for the sake of doing videos starring my dog. So there he is sleeping that's what he does best so let's look at this video so put an effect on that his face doesn't really look like that so t a tunnel bear works pretty well for TikTok. it's very quick download really easy to connect you just either choose a server from the list or tap move that map around on the screen and tap on a tunnel that's nearby but outside your region and connect um, here's some other options. Um, so Tunnel Bear, easier to, easier to use in IP Vanish or Nord, uh, but not as full feature, so there's a downside to it. There's some current plan pricing. There's always coupons. They have student discounts, work with nonprofits, and Tunnel Bear, a great thing about them is they're against censorship. Here's that link again where you can get Tunnel Bear downloaded right to your device if you don't already have it. 